Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to start the trophy presentation for the second leg of the GUKPT here in Walsall. It's been a fantastic four days of poker. In fact, it's been a fantastic week of poker here. And uh, before we move on to our winner, Jeff Kimber, I'm just going to have a quick word with our runner-up, Peter Tarambas. Peter, you've been a very entertaining finalist, and you played a very exciting game throughout the first uh, few days of the tournament as well. Um, how have you enjoyed the experience? Yeah, it's been great fun. I've had fun and it's been an experience and I've, uh, hopefully going to do better next time. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing you there. Jeff, you're the World Heads Up Champion and you've now become the 12th person to win a GUKPT event. Um, I'm delighted for you, um, as I'm sure everybody else here is. Um, please, what are your thoughts about the final? Uh, I'm really pleased to win it. Um, great structure in these tournaments. Um, it's really good players in the final. It was a good battle. Peter's a really good player and we had a, a good to and fro battle there and it's, I'm really chuffed to join the previous winners. It's a lovely lineup you've got up there, a lovely crew of very good players and I'm proud to be one of them. Thank you very much Jeff. Well, let me just tell you what you've won. First of all Peter, you've won just under £49,000 and Jeff, you've won a top prize of just under £84,000. You've won a seat in the grand final in November, a seat in the Champion of Champions tournament. Let's not forget the chip set of course. But most importantly, you've won a very nice blue piece of glass, the Blue Square Trophy, for being the winner of the GUKPT in Warsaw for 2008. Give it up, everybody. A big round of applause for Jeff Kimber. Second place, Peter Sherlambos. Fantastic. Well done, Peter. Many congratulations. Thank uh, you. How did the final go? It went perfect all the way until the last half an hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I played really well, well, played solid early on, let, let people like, knock each other out and had some big hands and at the right time and trapped really well when it, uh, the, the D, I think it was, who yeah. got knocked out third and to get, to get the chip lead. And I started off the heads up really well and I, I could feel the cars going with me, but I think I just had a, I could see the winning post a bit too soon. Like I could, you know, I, I thought, I, 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 thought I, you know, I was going to get there, but overplayed a hand a little bit and then I think just maybe a bit of an experience like playing in this sort of like tournament mm. scene cost me in the end because mm. you are know we, are we going to start playing Holden more yeah we are yeah yeah I, I, I already planned like for, for, like, like from a month ago I planned I was going to play a lot more this year so I think this this should give me good confidence now you know, and I can like you know mm. like play, keep like, normally before I I, I, I used to lack patience but playing, being an Omaha player yeah. I tend to like you know you can get involved a lot of hands and play a lot of hands and like you know Whereas Hold'em, you have to have a bit, bit of more discipline at times and like you know switch off. And I always found that a bit boring, like sitting there for four or five hours and not playing a hand. But this this experience obviously has helped me out. Like, yeah. like, like I can it's, like it's your local card room next to Vic down in London. You, you will be there, won't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say well, I'm not sure it's my local. It's the closest. It's some, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere actually, in between. I'm at Barry Sledman's, like the Vic or Nottingham. Yeah. So yeah, but I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, I'll be giving it a shot. Yeah. Nice one. Well, many congratulations. Thank Second out of 287. Fantastic. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at not all. Peter, thank, thank, you very much. thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Well, he went into the final as favourite. Uh, the book got it right. Jeff Kimber, many, many congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm really chuffed. Um, great final. Yeah. Really good players in it. I uh, got a bit of luck when I needed it. Um, battled with a few players here and there and uh, really pleased to get the heads up and I'm pretty confident when I get the heads up I, I should win and uh, I was, you know, again the deck kind of hit me in the face but we all need a touch of luck and uh, I think I took advantage of it. Yeah. Earlier on I thought you were taking it pretty slow, uh, is, was that the case, just waiting one or two guys knocking each other out? Not particularly, I mean I had um, the second biggest stack mm. to my left, Nick who knows my game very well and early on he re-raised me and he re-raised me four times throughout the, t uh, the, the final table. Um, I think he wanted to put his foot down a bit and I didn't want to tangle too much against against him when I knew there were weaker players I could tangle with first yeah. um, and then obviously I could sort Nick out when we got rid of a few of the other ones Well, eventually, after uh, you and Peter heads up, uh, great heads up battle uh, Peter play, played a great game uh, do, do you know Peter's game? We've played a bit online actually we both play on Labrook so right. we know each other normally playing Cash Omaha but um, I played him live a couple of times mm. really nice fella and uh, Really good player. He's, um, you know, he, he played slow at the start. He played a classic final table. He really put his foot down when you know went through the gears when we got like, four and three handed. Yeah. Uh, and he was a tough opponent. But I, I think I just, you know, I got the right end of the cards at the crucial times. Well, unfortunately, there's no rest for you, is there? 
No, I, <laughs> I have to get home and get up in about six hours and fly to Copenhagen for the EPT, but, yeah. you know, it's much better than doing a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> well, many, many congratulations. Will we see you down in the uh, Vic for the next leg? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. There's a Newcastle playing a uh, big football game, so I'm, I might be going to a match instead, but uh, I guess I should show my face, so we'll see. <laughs> well, many congratulations, Jeff. Absolutely fantastic. Congratulations. Cheers, Thanks a lot, mate. Jeff Kimber. Cheers. Walsall's finished, 287 runners finally finishing uh, a few minutes ago, Jeff Kimber winning the main event, congratulations to the Ladbrook sponsored player, he's off to Copenhagen uh, in the morning for the EPT, uh, many congratulations to Peter Sharalambos and all the other finalists including Craig Metcalf, sneaks online, congratulations to them, well done to the Blackpool boys for getting in the money, uh, made it a fantastic second day. That's just about it from the Nuts.TV and the Airwalk team as well. We'll see you in about three weeks' time in London. Make sure you qualify on Blue Square Poker. We want to see you on the Nuts.TV down in the Vic. From me, CCTV, we'll see you later.